Now, originally, I uh, thought that this review would be a little bit shorter than my review for episode 21. It still can still be the case, but um, with that, I definitely cannot uh, gloss over the beginning portion of episode 22. Um, because episode 22, I felt like, was definitely focused on, um, you know, uh, uh, Captain Levi and Mikasa trying to go after Aaron. Um, I originally thought that Aaron was fully captured and, and, and the female type was taking him where, wherever she was headed to, wherever her HQ is. Um, because, you know, Aaron has been the, the, the main target, main focus for for the Titans coming out and, and things of that sort. So, but, you know, I can't gloss over this just because, you know, Captain Levi was a beast in this episode, beginning of this episode. Mikasa got a chance to see him. Uh, in in all of his Captain Levi form, um, he just did his thing, slicing and dicing at the the, the uh, female Titan, um, where it seemed to be like it, it would have worked out a little bit better. Had uh, and that's the thing, had um, Mikasa just fully listened to uh, Captain Levi at the time, then things would have probably still gone in the direction it needed to go. But Mikasa, because she was still in a, an emotional uh, state where she wanted to still take out the female titan and, and go against levi's orders that's when you know levi steps in and actually saves her but with that caused him to injure his uh left ankle or foot um a combination of both uh might be a sprain might more than likely seems like it's a broken uh ankle uh we'll see what happens uh once i sit down and watch episode 23 um to come uh, i believe we're going to get that di di the, his uh diagnosis of his injury in the next episode to come whenever I get a chance to sit down and watch it. Um, which hopefully, again, like I've been saying, hopefully I'll be able to watch episodes 23 and 24 a little bit later today and then just upload all the, all the, roughly the, the past four episodes on top of my uh, full review videos for each of those episodes uh, all in one sitting, all in one day. Um, but, uh, you know, with all of that being said, uh, again, Captain Levi did his thing. He really did. Uh, and he was a we, you know, they were able to him and Mikasa were able to uh, get um, Aaron out from the mouth of uh, the the female time. We thought that I li I literally thought that she swallowed him again to 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 capture him, not not kill him. Um, so that that wasn't the case. So basically, it was like basically seemed like Aaron was at like roughly in her throat, just sitting there. Um, because once once Levi was able to cut the portion portion of the mouth, the jaw open, uh, that's when we saw uh, Aaron pop out and lay on the on the female Titan's tongue. So they were able to do that. But you know, with that, then we get the the minor stuff, in, which is more than likely going to still be an issue moving forward um, when it's pertaining to Detar and crew. Um, but we get the minor thing that happened between Detar and his. Uh, people when it's pertaining to one of the members of the survey corps. Now, I feel like this moment uh, where Detar is, you know, him and his friends, they're like, they're like trying to convince Commander Irwin, Ir Irwin to go back and save their comrade. You know, it, I feel like this is one of those ongoing tropes that in battle, there are the, the minor characters who will still go against the grain still go against orders and and still try to help save their comrades their friends you know whatever the case may be um because they've they've gotten close to a few people or, or specific teammates and stuff like that and, and again i understand like you know we we all get it we don't you know the saying is leave no man behind you know leave no stone unturned you know, all of that stuff so you know you you want to hope that you know 99 percent of the uh of of the team comes back from s such a battle um and detar and his friend they they you know once commander owen said erwin he said what he said like we're just gonna claim them as mia as missing in action we're gonna keep moving forward but they they basically did what they wanted to do and that was go back and save you know one of their comrades but at the same time again that's when the 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 lower ranked titans show up and then they cause a ruckus and of course few more extra men end up getting killed in the process and freaking sucks that that has occurred all because of the fact that again you know you have these minor characters who say we still want to 
try to save our, our homie, our homeboy. So this still occurs. They still lose a few extra men. They do indeed take out some men. But at the same time, too, it sucks, too, because uh, because they make the decision to, to toss some of the dead bodies from off of the wagon. And one of them they show is Petra um, that that uh, that uh, Levi notices. And I, I want to sort of believe that it was all three of his teammates that got tossed from the wagon. I'm not too sure. But at the same time, it still sucks for us to see that occur here in episode 22 that that happened as well so again rp to captain levi's teammates and with that we see towards the end of this episode that we we get a dream and which is a past memory of aaron and mikasa when they were younger excited that the server court was coming back and then they see the fact that a lot of their men you know were hurt battered and bruised a lot of them were dead we get the same situation here with them you know with the current survey court coming back with along with Aaron and Mikasa and we also get the fact that because uh Aaron and Mikasa were young and they were looking over the crates and stuff like that looking over at the above the the adult people we actually see another set of kids a boy and a girl reminding Aaron of what he used to look like in excitement and joy of seeing the survey court coming back uh from from out in the battlefield but you know we also get the same conversation of when he was a kid with the adults complaining about their taxes being used to you know for this battle that's causing people to die and then they they end up doing the same thing here in the same scene current current time like current scene um that you know people are complaining about the taxes being used for uh the reasons that are causing people to die but then we also get petra's father coming to to levi and it just sucked to because and that's the thing like I feel like during that conversation, real, real brief, guys, me, what I'm going to say, I kind of feel like Petra's father knows that Petra is dead uh, in the midst of him walking up to him, talking to him about the letter that she wrote to him and stuff like that. And he even mentions um, talking about, you know, Petra being too young to get married and stuff like that. You know, really, really sad conversation. Again, Levi doesn't respond at all to what the father is, is saying to him in his direction. Um, but I kind of have a feeling he was just on the, the look on his face like he kind of knew that Petra was gone. He just wasn't trying to fully accept it because he, he was saying, like, I, I see Petra's not here, but I want to have this conversation with you anyway. He's trying to hold, hold on to a small, really, really small percentage of hope that Petra is alive. But again, guys, I really, truly feel like he, he believes that that's not the case. He just, you know, just wants to uh, at least talk to Levi about um, something a positive about uh, uh, about Petra uh, in his conversation with Levi. So it just really, really sucks, guys, that that conversation was being, was was sort of being talked about, even though Levi wasn't responding. So, um, but all in all, like I said, in my reaction, to, uh, in my reaction to episode 22, I'll say it here in a review, that I really enjoyed episode 21 more than I did in episode 22, um, just because, you know, it was really, really great at the beginning, and then it kind of just, you know, dissipated with, the minor stuff that occurred with with Detar, and then of course we get the we get the sad stuff with with um, Petra and his, and 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 her father and the conversation with Levi, and then we get you know we get this this little small thing with Aaron seeing all of this culminate from his dream from his past and seeing you know the same results and ramifications and stuff like that per the battle so um but again they do state that aaron's supposed to be handed off to somebody else i can't remember specifically who that is um at the moment in time it's kind of vague in my memory again i haven't watched attack on titan season one in, in over a month but I'm gonna try to continue to watch more of this moving forward but with that guys let me know your thoughts what did y'all think of episode 22 um Leave some comments in the comment section below. What did you all think of it when you first sat down to watch it for the first time? Let's talk about some things. But other than that, I will hopefully talk to you all next time with more Attack on Titan Season 1. Peace, guys.